Today, we're training y'all about the newest menu item, grilled dogs. With 65 years of business experience in the field of widespread expansion and mass stuffing incredibly tasty food between bread, Burger King, the only royal chain of fast food restaurants, yes, we're narrowing our eyes at you, Dairy Queen, has had quite a few successes and failures up its sleeve. But this time, we're only going to discuss the failures because they're, well, more interesting than the successes. So put on that crown and let's unwrap the top 10 Burger King fails. Exciting things are happening. Here at Burger King. Burger King's Satis Fries. Hey, can you pick me up and order Satis Fries while you're there? Differentiation in the market is key when a number of brands, both local and international, are constantly competing on the same level as you. But for Burger King, the need to differentiate is at an entirely new level altogether, with cutthroat competition from more popular brands like McDonald's. Big King XL is like a Big Mac, but more large and in charge. And occasionally Wendy's. And healthier options such as Panera Bread and Chipotle. Always attempting to stand out with its ad campaigns aimed at millennials, claiming to understand the pulse of the new generation, either by a lack of self-awareness or just the desire to lure in gullible customers, Burger King also attempted to go the healthy route, which always seems like a great irony with fast food chains. Satis Fries was a dud right from its name to its profitability. A medium-sized serving of Satis Fries consisted of 20% fewer calories than Burger King's original fries, which, to begin with, are usually dwarfed in taste and crispiness by their McDonald's counterparts. Satis Fries was no exception. The special batter used to make the Satis Fries was touted to be less absorbent of oil, but it eventually failed to draw in enough customers and was discontinued in 75% of branches across the states. A major reason for its failure was because a majority of Burger King's customers simply do not buy fries from a health-conscious standpoint. As noble an attempt as it was, it failed to satisfy its target market. You have failed me for the last time, Admiral. It would be most regal and noble if you joined our notification squad. Just hit that subscribe button and ring that bell if you're new to our channel. I just need a volunteer. Me, me, me. The BK Halloween Whopper. What, what do you see? A green hamburger? Being second fiddle to a company that goes by the name Mickey D's takes a toll on you. And if you saw the faces of the scientists at BK Labs working overtime to concoct delicious green poop-inducing meals for your pleasure, you would agree as well. But the genius in the lab coat that designed the Halloween Whopper in 2016 was more than just overworked, if you know what I mean. The Halloween Whopper is an epithet so apt that the burger appearing in your nightmares tonight won't even have to announce itself. You'll already know what it's called. In 2018, for the newer Nightmare King, Burger King even released a facetious two-minute advertisement with patients being tested, electrical brain activity and all, for nightmares after consuming a Nightmare King. When I would wake up, I think I didn't hear the voices. The ad garnered a lukewarm response, and even the burger itself was shrugged off. But the 2016 Halloween Whopper received a widespread dose of infamy, not as a result of the burger's taste or appearance. A Whopper dipped in A1 steak sauce and sesame seed buns that look like coal, but because it made poop turn green. The strange variation of colors notwithstanding, tabloids hastened to condemn the product because it was too concentrated with dye, and the product eventually fizzled out without a bang. While the treat itself was rather tame, the trick was definitely off the charts for most unsuspecting consumers the next morning. The Nightmare King increases your chances of having nightmares by 3.5 times. Google Home PR disaster for Burger King. Hey Google. Begin Operation Kevin. Burger King has always tried to stay status quo. This is usually a burden for a company that's 65 years old with a formulaic business model, but its attempts to remain hip with the youth requires tremendous upkeep, which Burger King usually can't quite live up to. This is what happened when Burger King tried to advertise its food with Google Home, where a chirpy employee ends the ad by saying, Okay, Google. What is the Whopper Burger? As you'd expect, pranksters and meme magnates were unrelenting. Since Google outsources most of its basic questions to Wikipedia, the answers that Google brought up were ridiculous and, at the same time, hilarious. A few classic edits of the Wikipedia entry said that the Whopper contained cyanide, was 100% medium-sized child, or the milder, the worst hamburger product ever. The event was a debacle not only because of hyper 4 chaner intervention, but Wikipedia requested the fast food giant
Inc. to issue an apology because it's against Wikipedia policy to promote material or advertise. A definition that was earlier the tame and not exactly mouth-watering, the Whopper is the signature hamburger sold by the international fast food restaurant chain Burger King and its Australian franchise Hungry Jack's, was altered days prior to the ad's airing to sound sumptuous in a very typical, tantalizing fast food way. The Whopper is a burger consisting of a flame-grilled patty made with 100% beef with no preservatives or fillers, topped with sliced tomatoes, onions, lettuce, pickles, ketchup, and mayonnaise, served on a sesame seed bun. Caught red-handed and pranked by internet beasts. O oh for two, Burger King. O oh for two. No one saw that. Doesn't count. Burger King gets hacked. No more secrets. There was a time long, long ago when the internet was called ARPANET, Satis Fries was a typo, and the Whopper was more popular than the Big Mac. As always, still debatable. Burger King misses those times. In 2013, Burger King's official Twitter was hacked by the, let's just call him what he really is, the Hamburglar. That's right, not only is Burger King's Twitter password apparently hackable, but the hacker went on for a good hour having their own raunchy pomp. So it's a code breaker. The hacker changed the account's name to McDonald's and broadcasted that Burger King was officially purchased by McDonald's. For the next 60 minutes, a series of sexually tinged innuendos followed, including pictures that disgraced Burger King's employees and said they sniff Percocets in bathrooms. This brash and unrelenting barrage was halted only an hour later when Twitter officially suspended the account. However, for the brief period that their reign lasted, the hacker left behind a number of gems sure to enter the Twitter Hall of fame. Burger King's bio just got sold to McDonald's because the Whopper flopped. Freedom is failure. A memorable tweet. If I catch you at Wendy's, we're fighting. Quite funny. Yes. Burger King dinner baskets. Can I get a big king? Let's make a deal. We all like breaking barriers. To mold new identities, to break free of an image we've carried around with us for years is a liberating experience. But if your entire brand value is based on fast food and you deliberately introduce a much slower version of service... Was he slow? Not so much. In an attempt to compete with diners and restaurants with slower service, again, why, Burger King introduced a concept called dinner baskets back in 1993. <laughs> Complete with upbeat advertisements and cheerful 90s rap music, slogans like Your Way Right Away, BK Dinner Baskets attempted to attract diners that prefer table service between the hours of 4 and 8 p.m., where free popcorn was offered to customers while waiting, and waiters returned with the eponymous baskets. Shrimp, steak, whopper, and chicken sandwiches were accompanied with baked potatoes or fries. While the falsely exciting campaign painted the idea as a revelation, most customers disagreed, and the entire concept was shortly scrapped. Although the idea was not necessarily bad to begin with, it was awkward and unnecessary in a business that was renowned for its fast service and meals best served with popcornless beginnings. Oh, it's necessary. Sexism at Burger King. Hot beautiful. You had one job, PR guy, one simple job. Entice the audience with our choicest of foods, draw the crowds in because our food is excellent, remind everyone that BK is masterful with its food. But what did you do? You went for the oldest lore in the book. You Nobody said anything about three books. You used a woman in a provocative posture to convey the message. Not just any woman. A picture of an unsuspecting woman, photoshopped next to a very long sandwich, and captioned it with, it'll blow your mind away. Yep, you're fired, PR guy. In the late 2000s, Burger King came up with the ingenious idea of advertising its BK Super 7 Incher by marketing it with phallic symbolism in Singapore. The ad instantly sparked outrage in the country, and it was later removed because Burger King had realized its mistake, but the damage had been done on a global level. In smaller typography, under the boisterous picture were the words, fill your desire for something long, juicy, and flame-grilled with the new BK Super 7 Incher. Yearn for more after you taste the mind-blowing burger, and so on. My advice to all those enticed, don't be fooled, kids. It's just a burger. Just a burger. Enormous BK Omelet Sandwich. Oh, I don't like sandwiches. In the case of all fast food chains competing to top each other, advertising is of biblical significance. When the stakes are high with a new product, Burger King usually takes the high road. It gives it straight to you, no gimmicks. 
Dinner baskets, the Halloween Whopper, Satis Fries. Burger King's nomenclature is straightforward and immediately mouthwatering. Well, maybe boring Satis Fries. So with the enormous omelet sandwich, Burger King's loyal patrons knew exactly what to expect. But little did they know the delicious sounding dish was loaded with more cholesterol than the daily recommended intake. Do you have a garden fresh salad? As a breakfast sandwich made of sesame seed rolls loaded with bacon, cheese, sausage, and an eponymous omelet, the enormous enormous omelet sandwich cashed in big, until BK customers decided that they didn't want to attempt to clog their arteries too early in the morning. You know, eat your green vegetables. Burger King sexism, again, this time in Russia. Apple and cranberry salad. From Singapore to Russia, Burger King already has two continents down with its sexism. In the more recent 2018, Burger King in Russia, which is relatively new, having opened its first branch only in the year 2010, posted a very, very strange post on its VK page, Russia's version of Facebook. It claimed that women made pregnant So I did a test and it turns out that I'm pregnant. by World Cup soccer players would receive free whoppers because they would be ensuring the success of the Russian football team for generations to come, as then their children would get the best football genes. Not only was the post explicit, ridiculous, and conjoining very different things to draw in gullible males, sex, sports, and food, it also propagates an overtly sexist culture that is prevalent throughout the world. The post was accompanied by an image of a pregnant woman and was taken down shortly after the immediate backlash. A spokesperson for BK in the USA said, We are sorry about the clearly offensive promotion that the team in Russia launched online. The offer does not represent the company's values. We are taking steps to ensure this type of activity does not happen again. That's not going to happen again, am I right? Bad Behavior BK Need a hairnet, Tyler. You need to get some hair, John. It is only far too common that underpaid, rebellious teenagers on shoestring budgets and regular bets with their friends cross the line when boredly stuffing buns with patties on the daily. But it isn't the run-of-the-mill teenager working for the burger behemoth that made it to this list. No, it's actually the angry, overworked, and disagreeable middle-aged man that went far enough to deserve an honorary mention. When a customer returned his cold onion ring in 2013, a BK employee instead offered to taser him and held up a friendly switchblade for hand-to-blade combat. The man and several BK franchisee owners were sued in court for negligent hiring and assault. A few other classic newspaper snippets on a comics wall stories include a man who discovered a used condom in his Whopper and, of course, sued, a video of a BK employee clad in large trekking shoes standing in two lettuce-filled trays, fired and also made into a two minute long meme on YouTube, and not to forget Burger King's egregious ad campaign that egged its customers to eat like a snake, where a scarily loyal BK patron slithers on the ground to wholly swallow a stolen burger. But the bad behavior isn't limited to merely its employees. I suppose you think I'm going to do something nice for you. Burger King franchises are notorious for refusing to pay employees overtime, and in 2007, the chain was forced to put labels warning customers of the high trans fat content in its food or stop using trans fat altogether. You already know which route good old BK went. If I go down, you're going with me. The mascot Burger King. There's no doubt I'm gonna destroy this thing. Burger King has always needed a face. Its search lands high and dry, low and wet. It snuck between mountains and grasslands and concrete jungles for the one. And when it finally found its beloved mascot, it was this guy. A for effort, Burger King. But if we wanted a creepy plastic man with an extra creepy smile, we'd go to McDonald's. With his frozen smile, dead eyes, and Burger King crown, the Burger King of Burger King is lesser of a king of fast food than he is of nightmares. The Burger King was initially introduced as a harmless leprechaun sitting on a burger, but later changed to the magical and marvelous Burger King in 1976. I'm the marvelous, magical Burger King. The chain itself brands the current icon as a creepy iteration of the Burger King, but BK's self-awareness does little to hamper the chill that runs down our spine when we witness it jutting out of windows and brick walls in less than entertaining BK ads. Much like its big brother, Burger King is overwrought with the effortless 
controversy because of its global reach and 65-year legacy. But again, just like the Golden Arches, the home of the Whopper tugs at our heartstrings because its high trans fat and unhealthy cholesterol levels pale in comparison to the draw of dill pickles drenched in A1 steak sauce and grotesque coal-like seasonal buns. We'll have it the Burger King way. All right, have it your own way. Stay on the fast food train and click on another one of our great videos. Your gravy train's leaving the station. Chuck, 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 chuck. And find out how to become an official Babble Topper by clicking on the join link in the description below.